Michelle Bachman was invited on Monday night to react to the latest White House controversy sparked by a CNN article. According to the report, Harris and her top aides are frustrated with President Joe Biden for handing her no-win issues like the border crisis. White House insiders who talked to CNN also said the vice president's team had complained that the portfolio handed to her was small fry compared to her tenure as the first woman named VP. She sounds a lot like Meghan Markle, to be honest with you, said Ms. Bachman on air. Both of these are very entitled people who claim constant victim class. A member of the Republican Party of Minnesota, the former congresswoman claimed Biden and Harris were failing the Democrats. When the President of the United States has approval ratings at 37 and 38 percent and they're dropping by the day, and Kamala Harris is down at 28 percent, that means they're losing their own party. As a matter of fact, it's the party that is kicking at these two. On the same day, Vice President Harris was seen being very supportive of Joe Biden from a speech she delivered before the photographers. Her kind words were due to the official signature of the $1 trillion infrastructure bill that previously divided the American Congress for weeks. Kamala Harris said in her speech, from the very start, you welcomed Democrats, independents, and Republicans to meet with us in the Oval Office. You welcomed ideas. You welcomed debate. All in the service of getting this bill done. And here is what I know to be true, Mr. President, you are equal parts believer and builder. And because you are, we are all better off. On behalf of our nation, thank you, Mr. President. Simone Sanders, the vice president's spokesperson, denied the allegations made by CNN. She said, it is unfortunate that after a productive trip to France in which we reaffirmed our relationship with America's oldest ally and demonstrated U.S. leadership on the world stage, and following passage of a historic, bipartisan infrastructure bill that will create jobs and strengthen our communities, some in the media are focused on gossip, not on the results that the president and the vice president have delivered.